Thank you very much. Alongside Megan Bozak and Sammy Joe Small. So my goodness, what a gold medal game. One for the books, that is for sure. Coming into this game, we had been talking about Canada's top line and Marie Philippe being relatively quiet, but we knew the second she stepped on the ice warm up, her demeanor was different. And there was a, a sequence in that third period where it was like, okay, the two people that really love to take these games and put them on their shoulder was Poulet and Knight. And boy, oh boy, did they steal the show, Sammy. Well, and the bigger the moment, the more that they shine. And they were both incredible in tonight's game. And you just felt that they just wanted it so badly for their teams. Poulet was in top form tonight. The bigger the moment, the more that she just, you could see her just driving. She gets the first, her first goal of the tournament. Unfortunately, moments later, she lays a big hit on Britta Curl and has to sit for two. And then she has to watch the Americans on the power play as Knight banks it in off the board. Such an unfortunate turn of events. But at that moment, she comes back and she gets four whacks at a puck on Aaron Franklin and is able to put it in. How do you let a player like Marie Kule Poulin <laughs> get not one, not two, not three, but four whacks at a puck? I think people were mesmerized by how fast she was skating tonight. Like you said, Tessa, there was something different about her. She was on her game, and she's captain clutch for and a reason. And she was getting lost in coverage the entire game, right? Yeah, and it's a skill, and, and one that she has, no doubt. But the American's not going away. There is a quick return of favors, I guess, and Caroline Harvey scoring that game-tying 5-5 goal to send it to overtime. Caroline Harvey is one of the fastest skaters in the game, if not the fastest. Her, her footwork, her hands, everything about her is skilled and poised. But Lacey Eden retrieves a puck off of a chance and throws it in front and it gets through the seam. And it's Caroline Harvey that does such a good job of playing below the tops of the circles. She adds that extra layer of offense. She's active in the zone. She can find those spots. And to tie the game up, the building went absolutely bananas. There was a moment there in overtime where I felt like the youth of the U.S. bench did them a disservice, and that was the too many men on the ice, too many players on the ice, excuse me. So Canada goes to the power play in overtime, and Danielle Serdakny gets the opportunity to be the hero and puts the game away. Well, the 22-year-old from Edmonton, Alberta, what a moment for her. What a thriller this game was back and forth, and she pots the winner for Canada. It really was her reach that allowed her to get in on this play and she is net front presence she's screening Frankel and then she just reaches around as Megan Keller the American defenseman is hanging all over her and you can see the elation the moment I mean what a moment for a young player like that out on the ice in that big moment that just shows the confidence Troy Ryan had in that player it's crazy to think that was can only Canada's second power play goal of the tournament but hey sometimes all you need is two